So what you have in front of you is a really masterful piece by Georg Philipp Telemann, which is canonic. And if you see at the beginning, and then there's a little sign on the second bar. So the first player starts at the beginning. The second player, when, um, when, when the first player gets to the second bar, the first player starts at the first bar. And it makes a duet, and it makes a very nice duet. But think of the mind that it takes to write something like this. And make a canon is like a round. And if you notice that we've passed out some rounds, we're going to play those in a minute. But it's a piece that is written such that when they're at the right place, it sounds like it was written as a purpose written duet. So um, Angela and I have played this several times. We have not rehearsed it. Um, it's against our religion. It's, it's written for violin, so Lee and I are going to try to down bow and up bow at the same time. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> My teacher in college refused to hear you if you weren't prepared. Hello. And if you weren't prepared, he'd say, oh, we're going to play duets today, aren't we? And then he'd pick the duets. Um, so this is a canon. And if you'll look carefully, you'll find lots of them. These canonic sonatas are written in a medium section of the range. Two clarinet players can play them. Two saxophone can play, players can play them. Two trumpet players can play them. They're published in bass clef as well, um, both in this same key, which you can do treble and bass, or in a separate key so that the um, string players don't have to play in flat key. So there's six of these of three movements of each. This is a whole evening's work. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful stuff. that I wasn't always playing what was written? Yes. <laughs> this is called ornamentation. That's a whole other um, weird instrument of the week. <laughs> but it isn't that far from what they do in jazz. Um, 
a professional level player in the Baroque era was expected to know certain rules. Um, all of the trills, for example, are from the top note, not the note that's printed. Um, but it, it was expected that if you had a, a leap of a third, you'd put an extra note in between on occasion. Many of these pieces are written with repeated sections, and you're supposed to play the one as written. The second time, you're supposed to change it. So there's just all sorts of things um, that are expected of people that are going to play Baroque music.